First Kings. Then Nathan said to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, Have you not heard that Adonijah, the son of Haggath, has become king, and David, our Lord, does not know it? Then Adonijah, the son of Haggath, came to Bathsheba, the mother of Solomon, and she said, Do you come peacefully? He said, Peacefully. So Bathsheba went to King Solomon to speak to him on behalf of Adonijah. And the king rose to meet her and bowed down to her. Then he sat on his throne and had a seat brought for the king's mother, and she sat on his right. Then she said, I have one small request to make of you. Do not refuse me. And the king said to her, Make your request, my mother, for I will not refuse you. King Solomon answered his mother, And why do you ask Abishag the Shunammite for Adonijah? Ask for him the kingdom also, for he is my older brother, and on his side are Abiathar the priest, and Joab the son of Zeruiah. Then the king answered and said, Give the living child to the first woman, and by no means put him to death. She is his mother. Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, an Ephraimite of Zerida, a servant of Solomon, whose mother's name was Zeruiah, a widow, also lifted up his hand against the king. Now Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, reigned in Judah. Rehoboam was forty-one years old when he began to reign, and he reigned seventeen years in Jerusalem, the city that the Lord had chosen out of all the tribes of Israel to put his name there. His mother's name was Naamah the Ammonite. And Rehoboam slept with his fathers, and was buried with his fathers, in the city of David. His mother's name was Naamah the Ammonite, and Abijam his son reigned in his place. He reigned for three years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Maacah, the daughter of Abishalom. And he reigned forty-one years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Maacah, the daughter of Abishalom. He also removed Maacah, his mother, from being queen mother, because she had made an abominable image for Asherah. And Asa cut down her image and burned it at the brook Kidron. And Elijah took the child and brought him down from the upper chamber into the house and delivered him to his mother. And Elijah said, See, your son lives. And he left the oxen and ran after Elijah and said, Let me kiss my father and my mother, and then I will follow you. And he said to him, Go back again, for what have I done to you? Jehoshaphat was thirty-five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty-five years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Azubah, the daughter of Shilhai. He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord, and walked in the way of his father, and in the way of his mother, and in the way of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin.